Hello, my name is Suzanne Clark and I'm a Sonoma County Master Gardener and I'd like to tell you a little bit about milkweed, planting milkweed. And I know you've heard about milkweed, that it's the host plant for the monarch butterfly. And the thing that's so important to know is that the monarch butterfly, after laying eggs, will not lay any eggs at all unless she finds milkweed. So today we're going to introduce um, Cindy Fenton, who is going to show you how to uh, propagate milkweed successfully. My name is Cindy Fenton. I'm with the Windsor Garden Club and uh, we have a project in the Windsor Garden Club where we're trying to get milkweed, native milkweed, to Sonoma County. That's Aslepia speciosa and fascicularis. And um, today I'm going to show you how we plant a whole deep flat of milkweed so that we can pass it out to everyone in the neighborhood and help produce corridors through our community. If you want to do a program like that, this is the easiest way we've found and um, maybe there's other ways to do it and we'd love to hear about them too but today i'll show you what we've been doing uh what we do is we've got our wine our grape lug and we have it drilled with holes and filled it with soil and now i've got seeds that have been in the refrigerator this is called stratification which is a big fancy word for wrapping up seeds in a moist you know, wrung out paper towel and leaving them in the, in the um, refrigerator for a, for a month. So anyway, these seeds have been stratified and that's just mimicking winter because there's a hormonal component to these seeds and they need to go through cold to really get a good germination rate. Uh, you can expect only half of these seeds are gonna germinate. So, uh, and the seeds I've been told are probably viable for about a year and a half. So it's really good to, to go ahead and do the stratification because otherwise you don't get a whole lot of, a whole lot of germination. I'm gonna put these seeds here and I'm gonna plant them very thickly because these seeds are gonna be in here and they're gonna grow and they're gonna end up uh, being in there for a whole year. This process takes two years before we distribute the plants. The seeds, we've got these from Larner Seeds, which is nice. You can get seeds from lots of different places, but if you can get seeds from a local place, that's a local ecotype, it's used to your area already. Bolinas is a lot closer to us than Winters is, um, or some other place where they maybe got this seed. So if you can collect local seed from the seed pods, uh, or you can uh, go ahead and um, order them from Larners or go down there and spend a little day at the beach or something. But if you look at this, you see these seeds are, are really thick. So we've got them in there. And expect that maybe one out of four are gonna germinate. Maybe, maybe maybe 50%. But space, when you're growing this many seeds, space becomes an issue. And I like these deep flats because um, out of one of these flats, you can get about two to 300 plants the next year. So I put about a quarter inch of soil over the top. And this is soil from Wheeler's Amaroni. It's a potting mix. You can use Edna's Best, you can use Sifted Compost, um, whatever you have available. I'm gonna mark this up because I'm gonna stratify some more seed and fill out the rest of this flat later. Okay. Okay. Another thing to know about this is this year, because we planted so many flats, as we were doing this and finding out that really just three patches of three, plants each is not really enough 
And because there's so much space that it takes to put these four inch plants in my yard, we thought, what would happen if with some of these plants, we just went direct to the gardeners that we know that are good habitat gardeners and said, we're gonna give you a chunk of milkweed, put it in your yard, you'll have a bigger patch is faster. We checked with uh, um, the woman who mentored me on this from Calflora, and she said, yeah, I don't know why that wouldn't work. So we're trying it this year, and hopefully we'll get thicker uh, patches of milkweed sooner with, uh, with this idea of chunking them out. So I'm gonna be chunking some out coming up. So um, if you wanna distribute milkweed through your area, this is a great way to do it because one plat of milkweed like this, this is one that I, I planted, we planted with our group in 2021, stayed in my yard um, all year long, went dormant, and now we are going to dig it up and uh, put it into different uh, containers for it. But I'm going to show you how to plant your own flat. I'm just now. Of course, uh, not everyone is going to want 300 milkweed plants. Let's say you just want to share a few or you want to have a, some to spread around your yard because you really should have lots of milkweed for, for monarchs. Like um, a minimum of a, of, in a 100 square foot garden would be three milkweed patches with three plants in each patch, but optimally you want five. So I've planted this one gallon and it is covered with milkweed seed in here under a quarter inch of soil, stratified. And this is just gonna be for my home garden. I'm gonna have it in this one gallon pot and split it up next year after it goes dormant. It's gonna grow all summer in my house. Now this right here is milkweed that was planted in 2021. Um, I can't remember exa the exact month. I don't have the date on here, but this is a uh, narrow leaf milkweed. And narrow leaf, well, narrow leaf milkweed has a little different roots, but you can see that there is a lot of milkweed in here. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm gonna tease these apart. You see those roots? That's a nice root system. But this milkweed was planted last year, was green through the summer. I watered it in a kind of a light shade position. And then uh, it's gone dormant. And now that it's dormant, it's time to put it into containers so we can get it out into the community. So I've got four inch pot here. I'm just set it right there. And I'm going to stick it into the pot. I think I might put three in here because I want to make sure it's a nice big patch people get. And I'll take a little more of this soil. This narrow leaf, even taking the leftover soil from these flats and putting it into a um, shallow flat, we ended up getting growth that we could divide out into people's yards. And then you're gonna take a tag. We use these, um, we use these uh, blinds, metal Venetian blinds. You can't find them as much anymore. And you write on it with pencil because what happens is uh, if you write on it with marker, it just fades and washes off. So we use pencil. So you can use those, stick it in. A date is always good. And then you have uh, a two-year-old milkweed plant going on its second year. And you give that to someone, they stick it in their garden, and they're much less likely to uh, kill the plant because they forget about it, because it's going to have a head start. So that's what we're doing. And last year we, plant, we passed out about 500 plants and this year we're hoping to do more. Right here, you'll see, this is the milkweed uh, that we got out of one flat of narrow leaf milkweed. All of this is narrow leaf milkweed. This is about 400 plants right here. So as you can see, um, these are three inch. You get 25 three inch containers 
these are kind of a deep three inch. You get 25 in in one flat, which is helpful to us because you get just get 16 in the four inch of the four inch in a in a flat. So this helps out. Um, and then.